now with some Monday motivation. We're going to keep it going after Karamba. We're going to help you be serene in 2019. Today's mantra is something that I often say. Think about this. Optimism is like a muscle that gets stronger with use. Optimism, a muscle, gets stronger the more you use it. We want to introduce you to an amazing young woman who lives that. Her name is Steph the Hammer Hammerman. And... She is the world's first CrossFit level two trainer with cerebral palsy, which is a physical disability affecting muscle tone, posture, and movement. She's also Nike's first adaptive athlete. We're going to speak with her in just a moment in North Carolina, but first, take a look at her story. Three, two, one. 29 year old Stephanie Hammerman is not your average coach or competitive athlete. She's so positive. She pushes you to do more than you think you can do. And press up elbow should match your ears. She knows your potential and she pushes you to the limit. Steph was born with cerebral palsy. Doctors told her parents that she would never talk, let alone walk. It's always really fun to surprise people. Nobody thought I was gonna be an athlete. Ah! Steph not only strengthens her body, but her attitude as well. As I like to say, optimism is like a muscle that gets stronger with use. When you're born with some sort of difference. It's really an innate sense of positivity. And that positivity led her to start her own gym, Hammer Driven Fitness, where she motivates athletes of all ages and abilities. You can't tell her that you can't do it. She's in a wheelchair. How can I tell her I can't do it? I'm not in a wheelchair. Just three years ago, it was with her unbending determination that helped Steph beat cancer. I didn't have time for cancer. I went into the doctor's office and she said, I've never worked with anybody with cerebral palsy before. I said, we can do this. I just need to know what you need me to do. And she looked at me and she said, just be exactly who you are. And Steph's infectious optimism has reached those who need her most. Having her here and feeling like I'm not like by myself in this is really, really motivating. They're not here because I'm in a chair. They want me to help them get better. That's my focus. That's why I'm here. Yeah, girl. Woo. It is great to have Steph Hammerman join us from her gym in Nightdale, North Carolina. Steph, it's so great to see. Are you about to cry, Steph? Are you about to? I oh. <laughs> you look so emotional. I, I'm just good morning, Robin. <laughs> this is such an amazing opportunity and I can't even believe that you just said my name and uh, it's it's just it's amazing to be able to share my story and be able to show the world what I do in here small town North Carolina well wonderful it is an honor to highlight you and to share your incredible story just tell us what motivates you Steph what motivates me? The people behind me motivate me. Uh, people that actually have told me I couldn't do something motivate me. And most, you know, most of all, my family motivates me. My grandparents motivate me. Um, and just being able to get up every day and do things that people don't think is possible just makes me want to work harder. You know what I love about you? So many things, Steph. But, and, I, and I want everybody to hear this, and I want them to hear it from you. Tell us the difference between, you love being motivational. A lot of people say, oh, Steph, you're so inspirational. Robin, you're inspirational. But it's about being motivational. Tell people the difference there. So think about inspiration as the spark and motivation as the fire. Yeah. So inspiration is what starts change and motivation is what creates change and is the change. And that's what you want to see. You want to create that change in people. What do you enjoy most about training people? I just love interacting with people and meeting people. It makes my day. I think I was born to interact with people. I'm so passionate about meeting new people and changing people's lives. Again, I am an example for so many people out there. And what's really cool is that people come in and I change their perception of what an adaptive athlete looks like. I change their perception of what it means to be part of the adaptive community. And I couldn't be more proud of that. Well, we are proud of you. <laughs> so, so, Steph, tell me, what, what pushes you to these extraordinary levels? 
I think I've just had so many different people in my life that have shown me the ways of being able to do what I can do. Uh, I also lost one of my best friends when I was 16, and his mantra was failure is not an option. And so every single day I live that mantra. And he may not be here physically, but I know he's with me every day in spirit, mm -hmm. and that's what pushes me to be exactly who I am. I know, you can't be a fail, uh, afraid of failure. Failure is, is, is part of success. I don't, people don't understand that, but that's all part of the process. All right, you got 30 seconds. Give me your best pitch. What do you tell people? How do you motivate them? How do you get them up? What do you want the GMA audience to know, Steph? First and foremost is just get up and do anything. It doesn't have to be CrossFit. It doesn't have to be functional fitness. Get up and do something you're passionate about. Our tagline here is stay driven. And I want people to really wake up and think, well, what keeps me driven? Because if you do something that keeps you driven and you stay passionate about it, things in life will just kind of fall into your lap and amazing things will happen. That's right, it's about passion. <laughs> All right, the hammer. Steph, the hammer, Hammerman. <laughs> Uh, what, what a blessing to spend some time with you this morning and, and tell everybody behind, they've been working out behind you. They've been really good behind you like that. I thought they were going to stop, so they, they're good props. They're great. You're a great trainer. No, they're, they're, they're amazing, and, and they actually have to take class after this. So it's, uh, I have such an amazing group of people. Oh, you are. Okay, you take care. You, we appreciate that.